Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical on power and effort of a governor. So we will take the case of a porter governor, in this the mass of each ball is given which is 4 kg, mass of sleeve is 14 kg, length of arms is given which is 200 mm and they are pivoted on excess of rotation, this is very important, right? Now the radius of two radius of uh, rotations are given, one is 120 mm and when sleeve begins to rise up at the maximum speed radius of rotation is 160 mm. So we have to calculate range, lift, effort, power and the effect of friction on sleeve. So we'll draw a simple diagram. So we know the length of the arms, both the arms is 200 mm and we'll take the first case in which it says that radius of rotation is 120 m. So we'll call this as height h1. So by applying a simple Pythagoras theorem in this formula, we'll get the value of h1 which is 160 mm or 0.16 meter, right? So this comes directly to this. Now the second case says when the radius of rotation is 0 0.16, so when this becomes 0 0.6, the h2, the height that we'll get will be 0 0.12 meter. Now we know the formula of speed for Porter governor which is n square is 895 upon h mass of ball plus mass of sleeve upon mass of ball. So we are given two heights at two different radius, so we'll change, put the value for h1 get the value of speed which is 163 rpm then put the value of h2 and the speed that we get is 188.2 rpm now what is range range is the difference between maximum and minimum speed so you put the value in the formula get the answer second thing that we have to calculate is lift it means that when speed is changing from one value to another value how much is the change in the height of governor so Lift is twice of h1 minus h2. So you put the values in the formula and get the answer because we already have calculated h1 and h2. Now the third thing that we have to calculate is effort. Now what is effort? Effort is the mean force which acts on the sleeve to raise or lower it whenever there is change in speed. Now this formula we have already derived for effort which is mass of ball plus mass of sleeve into C into G. Now what is C? C is a factor with which the speed changes and the formula is N2 minus N1 upon N1. We know N2, we know N1, right? Basically it is change upon the original speed. So we get the value of C as 0.16. You put the values in formula and we'll get the answer. Now the next thing we have to calculate is power which is effort into displacement. We know what is effort, right? Effort we have already calculated here and displacement is the lift. How much is the change in the position of sleeve? So we put the value of displacement, we place the values and we'll get the answer which is 2.38 Newton meter. Now what is lift? The effect of friction which is 10 Newton. Now when we are taking friction which is 10 Newton into account, the equation changes. How? Force of friction it acts opposite to the motion of the sleeve. So whenever sleeve moves up, friction acts downward and whenever sleeve moves downward, friction acts upward. So it is mg plus f and mg minus f for two different cases. So we have just made the changes in the formula mg minus f and mg plus f. This is when sleeve moves downwards so friction is acting upward and weight it is always going to act downwards so we'll get the value of n1 and n2 range we have to calculate which is the difference between maximum and minimum speed right so n2 minus n1 lift is twice of h1 minus h2 we have already discussed so why this lift is 2 h1 minus h2 because in a governor when all the arms are equal so lift of sleeve, it is twice the variation of height of the governor. Therefore, it is twice of H1 minus H2 and the value is similar as in the first case because H is depending upon as per the formula or as per the Pythagoras theorem, it is depending upon the radius of rotation and the length of the arms which is not changing. Right now for effort, 
because there is one more force, frictional force added, so effort changes. Along with this, the factor C also changes the change, which is change in speed upon original speed. So we can put the values of N2 and N1 in the formula, which is N2 minus N1 upon N1, and get new value of change of speed, which is C. So effort is weight of ball plus weight of sleeve plus frictional force. And power is what effort into displacement. We place the values and get the answer. Thank you.